Hello Internet, welcome to another Linux learning tutorial. In this tutorial we are we are learning uh, plotting graphs on GNU plot. Now I've always been a little confused about the pronunciation of GNU plot um, because on the internet you'll find that this is uh, pronounced as new plot but nevertheless it doesn't make a difference to me but <coughs> in this comprehensive tutorial we are going to focus on plotting multiple files uh, using GNU plot and uh, I've got a problem statement in hand here for example uh, if you look at these graphs these graphs are plotted using uh, new plot and I'll just crawl through the graphs here I'll show you four different graphs here now over here you see the y-axis which is 1.8 in this case the maximum value is 0 0.5 in the next case 0 0.45 and 0 0.2 and similarly you have the notations or legends for uh, the colors being used here but there is no label here for x and y axis and the graph looks utterly uh, unprofessional so in this video we are going to try and learn all the uh, GNU plot commands with the problem statement in hand so we'll redraw all these graphs and uh, during the process of redrawing all the graphs you'll get to know the process you'll get to know the commands and you'll get to know the working of GNU plot so if that is something that interests you then keep watching this video so I'm going to close uh, these graphs here. Okay, so I have these files created. Uh, now these files are white space separated files which can be plotted on new plot. Now white space separated files are those files. Uh, so one can be uh, denoted on X and the other one can be denoted on Y. So that is what we're going to do. And by the way, I'm using a Sigwin terminal. And I'll go to the location of the files. All right. Now I'll have to use new plot on x11 terminal so this is uh, like optional for your case you you might have new plot installed on 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 a ubuntu native machine so simply uh, start from this point onwards you just need to type new plot if new plot is installed you'll get a mm, you'll get to the terminal with the option GNU. The first instruction that you knew, need to know for GNU plot is plot. So if you say plot SFQ1000 you simply enter the name of the file that you want to plot. It is going to plot it. Now it would not plot the file with uh, with with the line connecting these points so the first thing that you would want to do is you would want lines to be there style data lines point and press enter now one good thing about new plot is that once you select once you set the styles for 
for plotting graphs in a particular session it it stays there for a session it it would not go away for the rest of the session for example from this point onwards if i plot anything uh, in this session it will have the lines connecting uh, the points for example if we replot it you see the difference here all right now um, similarly i would uh, i would highly recommend you to uh, search the help for set because um, the subtopics available for set are going to be highly um, i would say useful for you in creatively and articulately plotting the graphs so we'll go back to new plot and now we um, i'll show you one more example of set you can set grid and then you could plot this again and now this is plotted in the grid so we are improving with each step here I'm going to close this now the next step would be to enter the X label now on the horizontal axis I have packets so I'll say packet ID and on the Y axis I have delay so this is going to be set for the rest of our session and I'm going to plot this again and now you can see I have labels on the x-axis and the y-axis and I've got a legend here which is known as a key SFQ which is the name of the file so I'm going to close this again now let's try and plot three different files here you need to separate the files with a comma then start with the comma again apostrophe comma separate with a comma and I'm gonna enter three different files here and I'll press enter alright now it automatically assigns three different colors to uh, the three different values in the files and it is going to take the maximum value of delay in in representing the y-axis which is intelligent enough so um, this is more or less uh, a plot for uh, the SFQ Q management technique for three different fragment sizes and I'm gonna plot what I'll do is I'll I'll take a screenshot of this and now I'm going to plot the same thing for let us say FQ
and now you can see uh, the plot is drawn but the Y label is extended so I'll take a screenshot again the file here for fair queuing and we'll compare it with SFQ now the representation of the file does not show the correct comparison because um, for fragment size 1000 um, the fair queuing gives us a delay of almost 1.6 uh, milliseconds and for the fragment size 1000 SFQ gives us a delay of almost 0.5 milliseconds so which is uh, which has to be interpreted from the y-axis as you can see however uh, the size of both the files uh, is approximately uh, the same the divisions are not correctly represented so how can we correct that so we'll need to we'll need to set the Y range and this is the syntax you could note it down we can set it from 0 separated by a colon to the range for FQ is 1.8 so we'll take a comfortable 2 so I'll say 2 And now we'll plot this and I'm going to take and I'm going to plot this and I'll take a screenshot here and if we now see the comparison here I'll show you the comparison here of the new files now it is starting to make more sense because the y-axis is consistent on both the files so we can see that uh, fair queuing gives us more delay for the same same uh, simulation setup. So another thing that you can do with, but this is in context with uh, NS2, so you need not worry about uh, the the comparison of the two. You simply and need to learn and understand how you can change X and Y ranges for example there is some extra white space on on the right hand side that we can trim so how can we do that so I can see the maximum is almost 22 or I'll keep it as 2300 packets so I'll set the X range to zero to twenty three hundred and I'll plot in this again and this is more professional and if you want to get rid of these keys you can simply type unset key and plot it again this is gone and I hope this quick tutorial was helpful and uh, uh, you can draw plots for your output files for NS2 in a more professional way using new plot and thank you so much for watching this video 
and uh, if you liked the video please subscribe the channel for more tutorials on NS2, NS3, Linux and other interesting stuff and give peace a chance have a good day good life bye